It's been a minute. Just wanted to pop in and say surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. I'm just kidding. Um, it's February and I was just feeling a little social. So I thought I'd pop in and say hi to whomever is out there listening out in the wilderness. Out in the wilderness of the world. <sighs> what a year 2023 was, right? 2023 was a year to remember. Let me just put it that way. It was eventful in the most exciting of ways and delectable and delicious. If there is anyone out there watching me, feel free to drop a note, say hello, say hi, chime in, and um, don't be shy. It's been a while. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I have a few things that I want to chat about for a hot second whilst I'm here. I feel like I could make this chat and chill thing a regular thing. However, I am a Gemini, and so I'm a little sporadic when it comes to structure. <laughs> Especially when the structure is not necessarily necessary. Like, I don't have to, you know, do YouTube or Instagram Live or Facebook Live. Like, I don't have to. But when I do do it, it's because I have the desire to do it, just to pop in and say hello. So then I do. And yeah. But if you guys would like for me to be a bit more consistent, not that I'll listen, but I'll take heed, let me know in the comment section. Like I said, 2023 was pretty exciting. We're now in 2024, um, the first of February, honey. So I'm excited about that. It's a new year. It's a new feeling good. Um... Yeah, feeling good. Right now, drinking some tea, peppermint tea. And, you know, just popping in to have a quick chat. For those of you who are watching, feel free to say hello, drop a flower, a heart a hello, a question, if you have a question. That's what I'm here for, to interact. I have a list of a couple of things that I want to chat about. As I said earlier, um, mainly about 2023 and how it was super exciting because for those of you who are following my journey or just, you know, a part of the no or the in, we did Madison Square Garden last year um, with Black Coffee. Black Coffee literally sold out the entire venue like that. So it was super exciting to be a part of all of that energy, all of the amazing artists that were there, meeting some of the new artists that I've never met before, reconnecting with familiar faces. It was just so delicious and high vibrational. And that's what I'm into. I'm into good vibes. I'm into um, like-minded energies and people really vibing. And it was just a really good vibe. Hey, Musa, how are you, honey? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here, darling. 
Guys, if you are watching, feel free to say hello, chime in, and you know, let's chat for a hot second whilst I'm here. But yeah, Madison Square Garden was super lit. It was so real. It was one of those experiences that I would say like for me, it was giving once in a lifetime monumental vibes, making history. So it was super cool and I'm glad that my brother from another mother, Black Coffee, Nat T, um, you know, invited me because it was bomb. It was super fun. And like I said, met a lot of amazing people and just had an absolute blast. So yeah, it was good, it was good. Whilst I'm here, do you guys have any questions for me? I know it's been a while. I know. You guys weren't expecting me to just pop up out of the blue like this. Surprise. Here we are. Surprise, surprise. Like a regular thing, but we'll see. Again, I just, sometimes I want to go live and then sometimes I want to hibernate. It all depends on the energy, on the mood, you know? So yeah. Any new exciting projects should we expect from you? Well, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Definitely. Um, as of currently, I have a few collaborations in the works. Um, that should be really, really fun. So as soon as it drops, you guys will definitely know, especially if you follow me on my social media or follow any of the artists that I'm going to be collaborating with. So yeah, always working on new stuff, new ideas, new collaborations, and just new vibe, new energy. Yeah. Is there anything else that I wanted to say? I already spoke briefly about Madison Square Garden last year, which was super cool. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I can save the rest for another time. Oh, yeah, another thing, I am wanting to learn another language, a new language. And the top language on my list right now is Zulu. So that should be fun. Perhaps I'll come on here and I'll like practice and see what you guys say, what you guys think. Cause you know, it's a new language. It's a beautiful language and I figure I plan on being in South Africa a lot more starting this year. And I feel like it only makes sense to learn one of the main languages. I know there's like 11 official languages, right? So yeah, learning Zulu should be really, really fun. And then I'll be able to use what I know, I guess. So wish me luck on that. And like I said, Perhaps I'll pop in and I'll do like my Zulu lessons because I found this um, book on audio, audio book, and it came out just last year because I've been looking for um, like wanting to learn how to speak Zulu, um, but being in America because I'm not in South Africa right now, I'm still in America and it's kind of tricky to learn a new language when you're not like immersed in the culture but I feel like why not learn a couple of like statements how to communicate effectively just the basics and then learn more from like my Zulu friends and family when I'm back in South Africa which should be fun so yeah go for it Zulu is the easiest language out there okay that's good to know thank you Musa Thank you. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm super excited. I'm pretty good with languages. 
So this will be a nice, fun challenge. Who knows, maybe one day I might make a song or write a song in Zulu. Wouldn't that be fun? A Soulful House song in Zulu by yours truly, Portia Monique. Wouldn't that be fun? I think so. So who knows? The sky's the limit, the future is bright. Yeah. I always feel weird going live after like, I think it's been a year since I've been live. So it's been a long time. So I always get a little, not necessarily nervous. I'm not afraid of like the camera or a live interaction, but it does kind of seem a bit foreign to me to, I don't know, me talking to my computer screen. I'm more of an in-person person because person, I like to feel energies. So talking to the screen is weird, but it's something that I could get used to. Sawobona, sis Portia. Unkahil. Okay. Ukale. How do you pronounce the U K A H L E word? How do you pronounce it? Sound it out for me, baby. I know how to say Sawobona. Sawobona. Yeah. Ukale, is that how you say it? Ukale, U-K-A-H-L-E. Somebody help me out. <laughs> Free. Ukahel. 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 Means, are you good? Am I saying it right? I'm. I'm probably butchering it, huh? Probably. Standing at my window, watching her find the solace. So, yeah, just wanted to come back in. I feel like it might make sense for me to do this at least once a week. Perhaps whilst I'm learning, like, Zulu, like the basics of Zulu, you know, like the greetings and how to properly greet people. Perhaps I can do this on live with you guys. That should be fun. It'll be interactive as well. I nearly got it right. Did I get the first part right? It's just the, the last part that got me. Uka. Le. Is it ukale? Ukale? Ukale. 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 Is that it? It feels right. It feels right in my chest, but I don't know. Okay? I could be very wrong. But it feels right. Let me know. Let me know, let me know. Yeah, let me know. Anybody else in here? Say hi. Ask a question. I don't know. Or you can just look at me. I don't mind, you know. I don't mind. You staring. 
However, if you want to say hello, feel free. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for, darling. Yeah, I feel it like in my in my energies that I probably should do this more regularly. At least once a week is what I'm feeling. Number one to kind of get used to talking to you guys, but talking into a camera, I'm not used to that. But then also, just to, you know, connect. One of the best singers. Thank you, babe. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Oh, it's the last part of... with my chest I was like yeah that's it no. no it was wrong so wrong darn it I thought I had it it felt good it felt good it felt Zulu just you know I felt it in my chest but that's not that's not it I just made up my own little word didn't I no disrespect my apologies darn it I want to know Hmm. Sound it out for me one more time. Is it okay? So I have the first part right. You, you ka, you ka, you ka. Hle. Is it one of those like hle, hle? You want to hear Grace, a little bit of Grace Musa? I got you. I got you, Grace. I absolutely can. Darn it, I'm so mad that I butchered the word. I have my mic. It's like a little Amazon thing. Let me turn it on for a little bit of volume. Ooh, okay. It feels so good. Good. To know that you are real. It feels so good. Good. Knowing you are out there. <laughs> a little taste, a little cheeky taste of grace. I think I started off too high though. It was a little. Feel so good. Good. Yeah, it feels better. I think that's the right key as well. To know that you are out there. Feelings that I carry. Embedded deep inside. This is not helping me. Because I feel like I have to sing like quiet. So I'm just going to turn it off and just belt it out. <laughs> Just gonna turn it off and belt it out loud and proud. I'll still keep it though for aesthetic reasons. How's everybody doing by the way? I didn't even ask that. How rude of me. How's everyone doing? I know in South Africa, what time is it there guys? Let me look at my clock. Cause I have South Africa right here. What time is it there? Oh, that's the weather. It's not the time. Oh, goodness. 
Is it 6 a.m. in the morning? <gasps> 6 06. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Oh my goodness, guys. Bright and early in the morning at the crack of dawn. Good morning. Um, it's 8 p.m. here or it's nighttime. It's nighttime here. Yeah. And it's morning there. So it's already the third of Feb, the second of February there. I am behind. I need to get back to South Africa ASAP. What's going on here? You guys have good weather out there too. Here it's winter. What there it's summer, right? You guys have good weather. Here it's the weather has been weird. It looks ugly and cold and dark and gloomy, which honestly I don't mind. I don't mind the winter, but I think I need to make South Africa like my summer destination. When it gets cold and ugly here, then I just go to South Africa. That's what I need to do, right? Live by continental. Yeah, because number one, I miss the vibes there. Number two, it's cold here. You guys saw my last picture that I posted on my Instagram? in my, all my social medias, I was all bundled up. Looking all warm and cozy, but it's cold. 6 a.m. Please sing. <laughs> Duncan, the first four lines of do better. Okay, baby, I'll try to scratch, screech it out for you. Morning. Wow. I'll sing some Do Better for you too. I was planning on singing Do Better actually, but then my voice felt a little crusty. So I was like, should I do that? I might embarrass myself, which I could never, but you never know, you know? Do you guys have any questions for me? Do you have a South African name? I would really love one, but I feel like for me to have a South African name, that's very intimate, isn't it? It takes somebody to like, who really energetically feels you to, to name me. And I have like a lot of friends in South Africa, but no one has named me yet. Should I be sad about that? I should have a name by now, right? The people who know me dearly, closely should have named me. Maybe I haven't, look, I probably haven't earned my name yet. Maybe I need to earn it. Who knows? I feel like you don't get a name until you actually like move there, right? I think I need to like move there to have a pro a proper name. Don't you think? You can name me now, I don't mind. But I'll probably have several different South African names. I love the name Boucle. So beautiful. I have a friend named Boucle. She's South African. I believe she's Zulu. I love the name um, Zolani. Zolani is very pretty, but I also know that can be like interchangeable. It can also be a man's name as well, Zolani. I met somebody when I was there last time named Kulani. He was very, very nice. What else? 
I like the name Timba, but I don't look like a Timba, do I? No, I don't look like a Timba. But I do like the name. Um, I love the name Boosie. I love the name Boosie. I think it's so beautiful. The name Boosie reminds me of like a flower. What does Boosie mean? It reminds me of like a flower. It's so pretty. I thought my Instagram was already live. I do have an Instagram live. I thought. Instagram is not on? Hold up. Hold up. You took advantage of me. You love fun in me. Hold up. I thought it was on there. It says I'm live. You'll find it at the top of your feed on Instagram. It says I'm live, but I'm not. I'm sad. I'm sad. Why is this thing lying to me? I thought I was live the entire time on Instagram too. No. Technology, I love it and I hate it. It's honestly not technology, it's probably something I did. I can't blame technology. I guess I could, but... How dare you? The only way that I can add it is if I end the live stream here and then restart it. I don't want to do that. What should I do? Should I just stop it? My new name is... <sighs> Papino. We've gone through this before with me and my pronunciation. Okay, I need you to give me a break. <laughs> Sound it out for me. <laughs> I told you I'm just learning. I'm just learning a new language. I'm just learning Zulu. Give me, give me a chance to really let it sink in to my soul. Give me a chance to let the beautiful language sink into my soul. Darn it, I thought I was live on Instagram. I'm not gonna dwell. I'm not gonna dwell. Because here it says that I'm live. But here, it says that I'm not live. Who's telling me the truth and who's lying to me? <laughs> Papino, mm-hmm. I see you. I see you. It looks beautiful though. One day I will be able to pronounce it. Porsche is already South African. Yebo. Yebo. We're gonna star that because it's true. 
Dang, Musa. Thank you for letting me know, honey. I'm gonna have to figure out for next time. I think I'm gonna do this once a week. Just to kind of pop in and say hello. Your family now. Please ask your close friends to give you a South African name. Okay, I will. Means blessings in Setswana. Swana? Swana. Duncan, I need you to pronounce that for me, please, so I can say it. Mbale Inkle. Mbahinkle? Inkle? I'm going to learn. You guys are going to be so shocked. You're going to be like, wow, Portia can speak proper Zulu now. Watch. Give me, give me some time. Give me some time. I'm going to learn it while I'm here in the Americas. And then when I come to South Africa, I'm really going to immerse myself. I'm going to get like a teacher to teach me Zulu. Yeah, I'm ready now. I'm ready to learn a new language. And I feel like Zulu will be the perfect language. Plus it's like widely spoken in South Africa as well, right? Because I know there's 11 official languages, um, but Zulu is like one of the like main ones, right? So I want to learn one that almost everybody knows so that instead of speaking English, then I can speak Zulu, right? Yeah. What's your take on Ama Piano? Will you do a collab on the sound? I like the sound. When I remember when it first came out and I was just like, wow, I think it's, I think it's magical. And I think it is, I can't find the word. I'm just going to keep it simple and say it's a vibe. It's such a vibe. I don't know if I'd be able to even do it justice, honestly. So I don't know, I'd have to think it over. Cause I'm known for, you know, soulful house, jazz, R&B. And I know that I'm a piano is a beautiful fusion of just a vibe. I don't know if I would do it justice. It would really have to be the perfect collaboration, like the perfect match. Cause that's the thing when it comes to like collaborating, I know for me, because I'm very picky, collaborating for me, it's like dating, isn't it? It's like you want to make sure you're compatible. You want to make sure you like one another. There's respect. There's a camaraderie, you know, and that's how I am when it, when it comes to music and collaborating, right? It just has to mesh. It has to just make sense in a delicious way, you know? So who knows? The future's bright. The future's bright. You think I would kill it? Thank you, Musa. Well, you know, I will say this. I'm not going to toot my own horn well maybe a little bit I feel like every track that I touch is magical because I put my heart soul and my love into it right so any track that I touch is going to be magic and when it's the right collaboration oh even better, right? When it just makes sense, even better. And that's me tooting my horn just a little bit. Just a little. Hi, Jonathan from Venezuela. 
Hi, baby. Thank you. Zwane. Is it Kulekani? Is it Kulekani? Zwane? Don't mind me. I've been butchering names all evening. All morning for you, all evening for me, okay? So give me grace. Give me grace. Darn it, I really wish Instagram was doing its thing. I really wish Instagram was Instagramming, but it's not. Oh well, I'll have to get over it. The next time I go live, I'll make sure. Instagram, you tricked me. How dare you? How dare you, Instagram? Feel so good. Good. Does anyone have any questions? Any more questions? I'm here for a bit. I've been on for 36 minutes. I could stay for a little while longer. Why not? Instagram. Ugh. You're mean. You're mean, Instagram. So I wonder what went wrong on Instagram. I wonder. because it's on here. Hmm. What else can I talk about? I didn't really have anything planned. I'm just kind of on here winging it. Per usual. I did talk about Madison Square Garden. That was literally my highlight of 2023. That was my highlight. Had such a freaking blast. Had such a blast. Amazing energy, as I've said before. And yeah, definitely a highlight. And so glad to have been a part of that magic. Got to see Monique again, which was super nice. Monique Bingham, the queen. Got to see Boosie. Met Zoe. Saw my brothers from another mother. Saw Black Coffee again. It's been ages since I've seen Black Coffee, actually. Before Madison Square Garden. I don't think I saw him like since 2016, give or take. So it was nice. It was like a little reunion. It was really, really good. And a blast. I'm looking forward to more fun things popping off for 2024. So yeah. Do you guys have any questions? Let me know. Let me know. person still in here that asked me to sing um, Do Better? Are you still in here, honey?
I did the wrong one. Page. Yeah, I think I might have done the wrong one for Instagram. And that's the reason why I didn't go live. I chose the wrong link, I think. So good, go that you are there. Some try to deny. Hold on, what's going on here? Oh, Oh, I was just on, mm, was on practice. Chat and chill. Maybe I'll cut this one off and then redo it with Instagram since I have about 30 more minutes. Next streaming software, go live. Streaming key. Oh, copy. Are you still into music? Hello. Great voice. Thank you, baby. All I can say, you're beautiful. Thank you, darling. Thank you, thank you, babe. Appreciate the love. Are you still into music? Oh, absolutely. Music is my life. Music is my passion. Always has been, always will be. I've been singing since the age of three, probably before that, while I was in my mother's uterus. But the earliest recording of me singing, not recording on like a recorder, but my mom noticing, was when I was three. So music's a part of my life. It's a part of my destiny. It's my life journey. It's my life purpose. And the cool thing about music and life is that there are these beautiful ebbs and flows, right? Sometimes you have high highs and sometimes you have chill vibes where things are just chill and you're just flowing, right? But to answer your question, yeah, I'll always be into music. Music is my first love. Music is my true love. And I can't deny that. So, yeah, I'm into music, honey. Definitely. Always and forever. Are you in a relationship or can you do better? <laughs> I like what you did there. I like what you did there, baby. I feel like I like to keep my relationship status private, especially in the age of everybody knowing everybody's business. So I like to keep my romantic life 
behind the scenes because it just makes sense for it to be that way. However, you can get a tasty glimpse into my romantic life through my music, obviously. However, me chatting about my romantic life, a girl never kisses and tells, honey. A girl never kisses and tells. My romantic life is for me and whomever I share it with. And that's the way I like for it to be. Yeah. Unjani. Awesome. Have you been doing deep house music all your life? No. I didn't get into house until I started working with the layabouts and real people. And even when I worked with them, I didn't know the tracks were house. They were just, it was just music to me and it resonated. And so I just wrote to it and I was just like, this is really, really nice. I like these tracks. Ooh, bomb. And I just wrote to it. And here we are today, right? I come from the background as an American R&B, soul, blues, rock and roll. That's all up and through my DNA. So, yeah. Greetings. I'm writing you from Venezuela. I'm an electronic music producer, and this time I made a track with your vocal from Who in the Afro House genre, and I would like your permission to enter the track on a record label for Shimonique Who. Where could I send you the track so you can listen to it? So for that track specifically, I would highly recommend that you contact Real People Music, R-E-E-L, People Music. That's who you want to speak with regarding a remix because they typically deal with remixes of already published Portia Monique songs. So yeah, chat with them. Um, and they should be able to give you a bit more information. They're usually pretty cool about remixing and re, um, publishing, so to speak, but I would say get some more information from them. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily handle that. I'm the creative and that's about as far as I go, but thank you. I appreciate your work and thank you for having the interest. And for everybody else who's, you know, collaborated, not collaborated, but remixed a track of mine, I appreciate it. You know, thanks for the love and thanks for um, your desire to, to do that, to help the world sing. So, yeah, thank you. How did you end up collaborating with South African producers? That's a great question. I spent a bit of time in South Africa between 2015, 2017. And during that time, I made a lot of connections with um, South African producers and the relationships just blossomed that way. So yeah, that's it. I'm more of a in-person kind of person. I like to feel the energies of people. And so it made it very easy to collaborate with a lot of the South African um, producers whilst I was there because I know a lot of them. So it just made sense to collaborate and make magic. When was your last time in Ghana? So I've never been to Ghana, but 
but I have um, spent some time in Nairobi and also Uganda. So yeah, that was a gr that was great and that was fun. And mom is amazing, absolutely amazing. So yeah. I want to edit this. Oh, I think I can. Oh, no, it won't let me edit it. You're already live if you need to change your destination. I'll remove it and then re-add it. Oh, cool. I can re-add it. Okay. Let's do this. I'm going to see if I'm live on Instagram now because I just changed the key. So perhaps that will help. Let's see. If you guys have any questions as well, feel free to ask away. Oh. I think I need, I have one more step to do. One live. Huh. I'm trying to go live on Instagram. But it's tricky because it has you doing all these steps. Public. Copy. Okay. And then it says go live. Let's try one more time and see if this allows me. Head to Instagram desktop. Copy the stream key and paste it below. Keep the Instagram tab open and you'll click go live. Okay. Let's try it. Hmm. Meant for me to go live on Insta. Obviously, because if it were, then I would be live, right? Everything happens as it should. But I'm a slightly perplexed as to what in the heezies is happening. Guys, I might be back. I don't know. We'll see. 